Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. As you guys can see from the title, today we're gonna to be doing something a little different with my hair that I typically don't show on my channel. I am on day six of this wash and go, and I actually did do a refresh as well. So my hair is kind of in a desperate need of a good wash right now, but I did find a color that I wanted to try, and this is the type of color that I probably wouldn't keep in my hair for more than a day. So I figured why not just test out one of these colors and show you guys how I actually apply it to my hair. The last time I did this, I did it just for Instagram and TikTok, and everyone absolutely loved it. So I figured I would bring it on YouTube to show you guys exactly how I apply it. I think I do already have a video using the Gemini Naturals colors, but I figured, you know what, I like to actually apply the colors when my hair is kind of dirty, just because I feel like it gives me the best results that way, just me personally. I just don't really have to apply anything but water, and then I apply the color. So for me, it works best, and the color I'm gonna be using in today's video is kind of a color that I probably wouldn't be walking around with for too, too long, so. I want to hop right into this video, I don't want it to be super duper long as most of my videos are. So if you guys are interested in watching me change my hair color temporarily, keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I'm going to be using the Gemini Naturals Get Hued in the color Midnight. I want to say this is kind of like a bluish purple. I'm just going to be testing out this color with you guys because why not, you know? And I am going to be washing my hair so I'll probably keep it in for about a day and show you guys what it looks like when it's dry, all of that. So I'm going to go get some gloves and I'm going to wet my hair. All I really have to do is just wet my hair and then apply this. As you guys can see, my hair is pretty defined. I did do a refresh yesterday, so I don't feel like I need to add any product. So that's when I really typically like to add color when my hair is pretty much defined. It still looks good. It still has a lot of life left to it. So we're going to do that. Like, let's just switch it up. Why not? You know? So let me go grab some gloves and then I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and changed my shirt and I'm gonna go ahead and add some gloves. I personally just like to apply it to like damp hair because I find that it gives the most pigment that way. I did also change my shirt. I don't know if I said that already, but it doesn't necessarily stain because it washes right off, but when it's wet, it doesn't, it does not stay anywhere. It just gets all over your wall, your clothes, like everything. But once it's dry, it's dry. It doesn't go anywhere, like it's good. So this is what we're working with. This is like day six hair, but like I said, I did a little refresh. Um, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday I think I did a refresh. So we look, we're good, you know, curls look good. So let me go ahead and section off my hair. I cannot wait to wash it though. My hair feels gross. So this is the first section that we're working with. I'm gonna go over the sink and I'm just gonna wet this section a little bit. I would use a spray bottle, but it'll take me years to actually wet my hair, so I'm gonna just do that, and then I will apply the color. Now my hair's a little damp, I'm gonna go in with the color. Again, this is Midnight. I'm just gonna massage it in. Kinda smells like blueberries. I'm a little heavy handed when it comes to using this product because I do want my hair to look more pigmented. I don't like adding colors where you can like really see my color underneath. So I'm gonna be a little heavy handed with this because we're gonna be like blue blue. You know what I mean? I don't wanna be like baby blue. I'm trying to be like super blue. Okay. Oh, I have these hoops on. I should probably take them off. Oh, and I should probably take off my necklace too. I am a mess. Ooh. Should I risk it? Hmm. Okay. All right, so. Hopefully, this covers my necklace. But this is what the first section is looking like so far. Super pigmented. I do want to add a little bit more because trying to be like super blue like I said. That's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be repeating the same exact steps throughout my hair. Again, the more pigmented you want the product to be, the more product you have to add. And if you want it to be less pigmented and more of like a lighter color, make sure you add less of the products. Just keep in mind guys, you don't have to add as much as I am. 
I always do the most when it comes to applying colors but I also like for it to be super thick and my sections are not as small as they could be. I'm kind of chaotic when it comes to applying these colors. So <laughs> yeah, if your hair is not styled and when it's wet, you know, it looks like it can be, it could use a little bit more product. What I recommend for you to do is just add like a little bit of gel or whatever product you had when you styled. Or if you are someone that you see yourself like leaving the color in for a while, then I recommend just like styling your hair and then once you diffuse and it's a, like semi dry, you can go ahead and add the color because you don't want to add it when your hair is soaking wet. I've done that and it's a hot mess so I definitely do not recommend it. Just definitely work with damp hair. Damp hair is the best way to work and get the color to stick. We're going to go ahead and wet this section as well. Now the section is damp. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. You see, when I add water to my hair, it kind of activates the products that were already in my hair. So there's no need to like add more. If I feel like my hair needs a little bit more definition, then I will add the gel that I used to style. But this wash and go was used with a double gel routine which I am going to be sharing with you guys very soon how this is like one of my new favorite ways to style my hair. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna be filming a video this week. Probably the next video I film, after I wash this out, I'll probably do a double, double gel wash and go. But look at this. Oh my God, this blue is so pretty. I wonder how it's gonna dry. No patchiness here. I wanna make sure it looks like super pigmented. guys so I'm gonna speed up this part of the video you guys already saw how I applied it I'm gonna keep going section by section and I'm gonna wet it with my you can use a a spray bottle if your hair gets wet easy or gets damp easy then I recommend doing the spray bottle but if you are like me and it takes forever for your hair to get wet just get in the sink and just scoop it and put it into your hair because that's the easiest way for me as my hair gets longer, it's getting more and more stubborn and I don't know if it becomes more and more low porosity, but if there was levels to low porosity, my hair is like, it's up there. Like it's very much up there. Okay, you guys, so I just finished with the color application and look at this color. It is so pretty. Look at this. Midway, the top broke, so I kind of had to start pouring it into my hands. So I feel like as I was doing that, the color became more pigmented. I don't know what it's going to look like once it fully dries, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. But look at this. I love it. I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and diffuse my hair and I'll show you guys once my hair is fully dry, but I wanted to show you guys my hair from all angles, so. Alrighty, I will be right back. Okay guys, so these are my curls outside. I was so impressed with the color payout. I did not expect it to stay just as blue as it looked when it was wet. Of course it was a little darker, but it looks so good. I am so obsessed and I don't think I'm gonna just wash it out right away because I really like the way the color looks. So let's see, this is just the outdoor look. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. You guys, look at how pretty. Okay, you know how I said I was only gonna leave it in for about a day? Like I think I'm actually gonna let it stay in my hair for a few, like, So, okay, it's a little darker now, so the lighting is not really doing it justice. I did film a um, portion, I'm gonna show you guys in a few, what it looks like outside. I'm sh I'm shook, guys. Look how pretty this looks. And I really thought like, oh my God, this might be a little much, but I feel like it's perfect. And it's very, very blue, guys. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, look at this. 
I took some photos by the way, but I wanted to go outside since we still had daylight, I wanted to go outside and take as many pictures and videos and all of that just to take advantage. And it looks so good. I don't know what that was, but it looks so good. I'll show you guys from the back. Show you guys what it's looking like. I want to say it's not streaky at all. Like the blue looks so good. I'll be honest, I started this around like 6.30. It is now, let me show you guys the time, hold on. It is, I'm gonna show you the time so you know I'm not lying. It's now 8.27. So what that means is I was able to do all of that in less than two hours. So that is add the color, diffuse it into my hair because you know, I'm not air drying this because I'd be air drying for days. So I always recommend to diffuse it because if not then you will pretty much be like smothering your color everywhere. Um, unless your hair dries really quickly, if you have high porosity hair, you have a better chance of having your hair dry quicker than if you have a low porosity head of hair like me. So, I guess it's personal preference. I like to diffuse because I don't really have that type of time to sit and wait for my hair to just dry on its own. But, what I will say is it dried beautifully. So when it comes to my diffuser, I have one that's just for like the colors that I use. I know it's like, who does that? But I did have... So I used my Dyson and I my first Dyson that I purchased, it kind of got ruined. I had it for about two years and it started acting funny. So I still had that attachment piece. And then I worked with Dyson on a campaign and they sent me one. So I've been using my old Dyson diffuser, you know, cap on this one. And I only really ever use it when I have colors in my hair and stuff. And I just scrub it down and use it again. Whenever I want to use it for anything, at least I have two now but I don't have to damage or color the one that I use on the daily basis. So I always have options. If you use a regular diffuser that's not a Dyson, you can get the like rubbery ones. If you are someone who does color often, if you don't, then just wash the diffuser you have. But you can get like the rubbery collapsible ones on Amazon for like 10 bucks and you could just have one just for color and then the other one is for like regular usage. So I don't know guys, this blue is beautiful. I think so far Gemini Naturals is my favorite hair color friends like I love it I'm gonna show you guys on a napkin because a lot of people say that this color like spreads and it does the most I'm gonna show you guys on a clean napkin my hair is dry show you guys on a clean napkin I'm gonna let it focus on my super blue hair this is my super blue dried hair I'm gonna scrunch it in my hair is dry this is the napkin Okay, no transfer. It's not transferring. If your hair is dry, it does not transfer. I'll do the other side as well. You're all up in there. No transfer. This is a hole. This is literally a hole. But see, no transfer. So, I don't know, I think the people that have said that this gets everywhere and it gets on your clothes and everything, those are people who have left their hair wet and have like had it get all over their clothes. But if when your hair is dry and the color is dried into your hair, you do not have to worry, okay? Because I know it's a little bit annoying to have to deal with that, but I'm someone who will be the first to tell you if it's transfers. I don't like that either. I think it's so annoying. And yeah, I never keep it in for more than you know three days but the last time I kept it in I didn't have any issues and I left it in for about five days so yeah I don't know I like Gemini Naturals I love it they are black owned as well so we love that we love to support our people and I love when our people come out with good quality products like I am obsessed with Gemini Naturals colors I am looking forward to trying some more of their other colors I would love to have pink curls so Gemini Naturals if you're watching this video if you have a pink hair dye or if you are thinking about coming out with one, please come out with like a nice pinky vibe because I would love to turn my curls pink. That would be fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm not sure if I'm going to pop in and give you guys updates in this video. I might though because I am planning to keep it in. I'll probably give you guys an update of how my curls look like the next day so I can show you guys my bonnet and show you guys that it does not transfer, especially when you sleep on it. So I'll do that tomorrow morning. And yeah, so we'll do that. But yeah, so I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning and show you guys my results.
For the curls today. They look really good still, but I think I'm gonna wash my hair because it's old. Today I sweat so much that I feel like I just can't. My scalp is so itchy, but this color is still looking really good. Look how vibrant it is. If I were to do this color again, which I probably will, I am thinking about doing it on like day three here. Um, because since I sweat so much at the gym, I talk about this all the time, like I sweat so much that I have to wash my hair more frequently because of the amount of sweat that I produce. It's nasty, but it's true. So anyways, I'm going to probably try this color again at another point because we're already on day seven hair at this point. And I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm just super obsessed with the way this color payout came out. And yeah, I didn't have any issues. Look, I'm massaging my hair. No, no colors coming out. So yeah, nothing. I'm obsessed with this color formula. I think it's probably one of the best that I've ever used. So if you guys are in, are we serious? Are we being serious? Anyways, if you guys are interested or in the market of looking for a color that is long lasting, it's super, all right, this is a joke. So like I was saying, if you guys are looking for a color that lasts super long, that it's a good formula, and one that you can rely on, and if you wanna support also a black owned business, like Gemini Naturals has to be my absolute favorite. What I will say is, I mean, I didn't plan to use Gemini Naturals during Gemini season, it just so happened to have fallen on Gemini season, but I really, really love their products and I'm excited to try some more colors. Can't wait to see what else they come up with and I'm excited to see like where this brand goes because honestly, like the colors, like I said, I'm like looking forward for them to drop like a nice pink color. So Gemini Naturals, again, if you are watching, please drop a pink color because I need it. Yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.